Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and we're right outside of the Tin Pin Antique Mall. This is where I have two antique booths. They are 8x8 booths and it's Wednesday so I have my tub full of items back there where I'm going to take those inside and stock the booth and that's basically my Wednesday. Other than that I do some listing later on and oh by the way how did you like the intro video there? If you're wondering what's up with the hot air balloons, that is actually the 1958 Pyrex promotional pattern design, and it's called Balloons, and I just really enjoy that design that they did. So those are the same exact balloons in the intro video. So I have just kind of a mixture in here. I have some Tupperware, the ship's time clock, everything's already priced and ready to go. I'm gonna resell this bag of um, Pez dispensers because they're not old at all. So I don't really need them. And I'm going to sell this little guy. I just picked him up a couple days ago. We'll try to get two bucks out of him. I think I paid 50 cents. And we've got this nice glass swan for $20. Depression era. I had help from, from subscribers on that because I just thought it was a cheapo little Avon thing. But nope. And yeah. So let's take those inside and stock them up. Okay, we're standing in front of the first booth that I got here at the 10 Pen. And I've had this for a little over a year now. It's an eight by eight booth. And right now I'm trying to focus on getting better ways to display everything because I have these black, dark bookcases and I'd like to brighten them up like this one over here that has my soap on it. I actually got this for $10 and there's my soap right on top. And I put this paper on it, this yellow gingham, to brighten it up. It makes it really fun. I have all different things. I sell some books if they're interesting looking. Looks like I sold something on the top of that black shelf. So I'll need to replace that. Yeah, just lots of random kitchen things, it seems like. I had that green shelf I painted. We've got some wooden boxes and the, oh, this little cabinet over here, it swivels and I keep in it some smaller items. So it swivels like that. It has mirrored shelves. Then I have some nautical items over here on the top shelf and some more right here, some different shells and beach related things. Then down here, some advertising bottles and then just lots of random stuff <laughs> salt and pepper shakers I love selling those some glasses up there and then I've got some rulers and some canes and then I have some picture frames over here in this little box down there and then I have this really cool white hutch over here and I leave one of the doors off so that you can see inside of it just some random things down there teapots and things lots of Pyrex up here but it's not really selling especially the brown and then I've got this green up here it's the crazy daisy I think we've got some butterfly gold over here mm, and then some just odds and end pieces of Pyrex. Over here I have just a couple things pinned up on the wall and then this cuckoo clock. Oh and then if you see the fabric I put a big sheet of fabric on this wall over here to brighten up the booth. But um, yeah it's just sort of a mess it seems like to me. Lots of random things in here. 
Okay, here is my second booth. It's also an 8x8 booth. And I've had it for maybe about 8 months now. But over here on the right, I have my shelf with all my linens on it. And those have been selling pretty good. If they don't sell, I'll probably end up taking them out of the booth and maybe selling them online, especially the washcloths. I think they'll do better online. But I got some tablecloths and some pillowcases and table runners. Got some scissors down here, all different kinds. I like buying scissors. <laughs> They're just kind of all over. Got a quilt rack back here, which is messed up. And then, let's see, just a couple photos on the wall. I don't really buy a lot of pictures because I don't have a lot of picture space. And this is a mess. Gotta clean that up. <laughs> oh, and over here we've got some photos. I just threw all the photos in a box and put $2 tags on there so they can grab a tag and grab a photo. Got some nice glassware down here, just some colored glass and some decanters and coffee pots. Then this is sort of where I put all my guy stuff or my more manly things. Not down here. Um, these are all just odds and ends, but up on the top two shelves right here, I have lots of hats and things like that. So we've got lots of seed hats and tractor farm stuff. And they do pretty well, actually. So all different sorts of hats. I'm going to take that one home and try to list it online. Have some brass things here and lots of random. Oh, this guy needs to be put back on his horse. Set him right up here. He's a solid, solid brass figurine. Charles chips, got some old toolboxes. And then I've got this really cool white cabinet. I actually bought that for $5 at an estate sale. Lots of stuff on the floor. Picture frames, here's a couple country looking frames in pictures. I buy them just because of the frames. I figure people are going to put their own photos in. Junk all down there. Some random odds and end things. Lots of salt and pepper shakers. I do pretty well with those. I put the better ones online though, honestly. Then I've got these apples, this zip board game. And then I keep all my cookie jars on this shelf right over here. And so that's fun. I actually painted that thing blue. It was that standard brown color when I got it. Yeah, I wish that the walls were not brown. I wish that they were white, but can't really control that. And here's another shot of my booth from the other side. So that is my two booths. I just got home from the tin pen, got, got that all done, and I'm just looking at her back porch. It's always a mess. No matter what I do, I'll get it clean, and then I'll find some more things to throw on here. 
but right now I've got you know all this stuff that I got to figure out a place to do with it most of it's gonna be donated and then some really cool thing here is actually this fountain this was found on the side of the road for free and we're probably gonna spray it white after we get all the paint off and that'll go in the front yard I think it'll look really cool it's kind of what's the word boisterous it has lions on it <laughs> it has lions on it it's a fountain but we're gonna just use it as a planter and I've currently got a planter out there but it's made of plastic resin and it's completely a piece of crap I think we paid a couple hundred dollars for it too so I'm a little annoyed about the poor performance but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up it wasn't an entirely long one but I just wanted to show off the booth and how that's going uh, I'm doing pretty well with it I don't know if I'm gonna do a video on how much I make per month there or not because it does vary month by month but anyways thanks for watching and let me know in the comments below what you thought of everything today bye bye